me, Cal. I am working my way with my little prompts for December, Defemorember. <laughs> Defem, Defemorember. Um, this is the last thing that I've made off camera. It's a matchbook pattern. It says the pattern's on the inside on the paper. I just chose some paper that had a pattern that I had in my little journal that my cousin made me. And then I just made this kind of landscape-oriented matchbook. So. And now the next prompt is metal and photo. So I'm going to just kind of go back and forth. Uh, might talk, might not. Uh, we'll just see, but I'm going to go look for a photo. I'll be right back. handful. I have a, a tin over there with <coughs> photos in them. Actually, the first one on the top. She kind of is cool already. It's a cool lady, too. All right, well, that was pretty easy, actually. I'm not going to go through all these. <laughs> I'm going to choose this one right here. Yeah, it has some writing on the back, but this is 1924. So this is for number 15. I'll move these out of the way. And I do have this metal piece right here that I got. Um, that's going to be, this might be pretty easy today. All right. Um, <clears throat> I think I want to put something on the back of this just to kind of make it a little sturdier. I have this vintage Wells Fargo and Company Express piece of paper form. So I think I'll put that on there in the back. Paper is very fragile. And then I'll just cut that off here. up there. <laughs> and then I think I like that. Just around her face like that. <clears throat> and then I'll just glue it on with some it's like three in one glue. So we're having a snowy day and I just decided to come on in here and work on some more of the prompts for the Emerald. And I'm thinking, uh -huh, there's one. I'm, looking, I'm thinking about sewing some, um, something up here. Let's see what I have to sew. I have this ribbon on this tag. I have other stuff, but I'm not sure what I want. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I just saw something. Got this, this uh, baker's twine in blue. It's 
So I'm just going to poke a couple holes right there. And then take the thread. It's always the hardest part, right? And I know there's little tricks and stuff to thread easier, but I don't worry about it too much. Just want to kind of get it through. And go down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't work. <laughs> try, try again. <clears throat> Let's see. Because it does matter. <laughs> Let's use this needle instead. It's got bigger. It's got bigger. Bigger eye. <laughs> so it'll be easier to get the all the threads through it. Okay, there we go. And in that way and hmm. yeah, back through ah uh, well, let's do it again <laughs> okay up. this time let's hold that so it doesn't pull out <laughs> face though. There. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there so it doesn't come undone. And we'll let this set aside and dry. Come on. You have to talk to your glue, you know. I'm going to set this actually under the bowl because it's nice. No more. There. Okay. So, there's number one. 15 metal and photo. <laughs> and I'll add a butterfly or something to it later in the tag. I'm just going to kind of work through my, my list right now. Let's see. Packaging. Index card booklet. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I have in the packaging department. I know I have index cards. <laughs> Let me get some index cards. I actually have these are kind of fun. They're These are a little bit different index cards. They got dots on them and they have a little tab so you can put them on a page. Let's pick a few. One of each color. And purple. Okay. And <coughs> packaging. This is left over from, uh, this was a, something that I did. I don't really want to use that. It was from a gift bag. Let's see, here's the rest of that gift bag. Oh, here's the packaging. Ta-da! <laughs> this was from a cosmetic bag. That'll be cool. So, it almost looks like a tab. We'll see that for a tab. And then... Let's take the packaging and do it upside down and make it more vintage looking. Okay. And 
and I don't mind this. There's a cool pattern up here. So let's cover up some of it with some scraps. I'll just put that on. some fabric across the top up here. like I heard a scraping sound. I think somebody's already outside scraping snow or ice off of their <laughs> driveway. Decorated doilies. And then let's just take some of our chalk paint and just to dull down some of that gloss on there. Let this dry for a little bit and move this out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Getting in a groove, throwing things around. <laughs> so packaging index card booklet. So let's take these. I wonder if we can somehow make them all like connected to each other. Should do it in a different order, right? Oh. <clears throat> Stapler and staple it. And then you have a nice little thing to put inside the cover. So we'll put that in later. So that's number 16. Let's see what else we can make here. 17 is rust in a bookmark. Ooh, okay. Well, I know that there's a bookmark already in my folder that my cousin gave me so and I have something rusty over here that I can put to add to it so I have some old 
rusty keys and a little gingerbread man looking thing. Actually, I think I'll use him since this is a December journal. I'm going to go well with it. Yeah, sometimes when you're doing challenges like this, it's fun that you can do kind of make a quick, you know, quick work of it. I'm trying to think how it was. I want to keep that original. Can I get it to go up in there? I mean, I'm having fun. It doesn't matter if you go quickly or not, but it's just kind of fun that it's going quickly. <laughs> and then, just to make sure that stays secure, put some glue on there again. dry and then we can add this let me just turn this over and we can add this little thing to the back to remind us that this was the rust in the bookmark so as the um, journal's been getting filled up with things I've been looking through what my cousin put in the pages and using that to fulfill the prompt and okay look at that little rusty guy. This looks rusty already. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what would be cute is to put wings on the gingerbread man. Because there's a word on there that says use your wings. I don't know if any of these are big enough. I might have to find a different butterfly. Yeah, I think I'll look for a different butterfly, but that would be fun to add that. Or I can just put a butterfly down there. At the bottom of the bookmark. Like that. All right, I'm going to think about that one. Let's see, this one's cute too. All right, that'll we'll do that. Because I'm trying to put a butterfly on every piece of ephemera. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. I like that one. There, there's our bookmark and a rusty bit and our wings. Okay, we'll put that up there or over here. Let it dry. Okay, little butterflies. <laughs> um, let's see, we are up to number 17. Or was that seven? That was 17, so this is 18. 19. Let's do a handmade stencil and a notepad. Okay, so we already have a notepad here that my cousin made. So let's just put this, move this right here on the bag. So we'll know that this is number 18. And then for handmade stencil, well, first of all, let's use this. This is a mask instead of a stencil, but we can put some spray ink over it and that will be fun. Let me see if I can find the spray ink. Hmm. All right, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Hang in there. I know where it is. I gotta go in the other room. <clears throat> Right, this will be fun. Move some stuff out of the way so we don't get it too much spray ink and everything. Okay, and here we go. 
that evergreen bow that's appropriate. <laughs> I like it. That's going to be my handmade <laughs> stencil. <laughs> Yay, this is so fun getting things caught up a little bit. All right, we'll let that dry over there. And move this. Now I have a nice cool thing there, too. Oh, let's just put this piece of something over it so we don't get too much ink on the next thing. All right, so that was 18, 20, 19, where did you go? I moved stuff so I wouldn't get it <laughs> messed up. Here you are, 19, 20, and we'll find 21 in a second. It's up here. Okay, well, 19 is fabric and page tab, and we already had this tab thing. Let's pull some more of the packaging off of it. We already got the shape of a page tab. If we can, I just want to take that off. And then let's glue this onto here, like this, to make it a little sturdier. And then I also want to use some of this plaid, or not the plaid, I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> and then I have this piece of thing that I painted earlier that I haven't used, so let's just put that on there. She says, as she searches for her glue. <laughs> So I'm just going to kind of collage fabric bits on here and then we'll turn it over and we'll collage the other side and then we'll trim it. to get in there. <laughs> All right, and then let's put that one there. <clears throat> cool. Okay, then we shall turn it over and trim it. And you could, you know, use a sewing machine and sew this down after it all dried to give it a little more dimension. But I am going to leave it like this. And where's that piece? We'll just turn that over. And then let's just put this on the whole back side. And I have another idea again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Trim, trim, trim. Leave, I'm going to leave that little bit of a uh, um, fabric hanging over so it'll be easier to glue this into a, onto a page to make a tab. And then um, fabric, and then putting all that on each of them. So we'll put that there. That'll remind us that that's what this is. <laughs> 
And on this side, we will put a butterfly. Let's see which one we like. Got that one, got that one, this one, this one. It's a cool one. Oh, they got this guy. I kind of like that. It's monotone, but I don't mind. And let's put some rusty hinge around the edges. So it'll stand out a little bit more and be a little distressed. Cool. We're just moving along. I feel happy because I got a lot of, I got most of my Christmas presents wrapped, so <laughs> I'm feeling like I can play and not get have to do things. All right, grunge and a snippet strip. Yes, I love making snippet strips. So let's see, what can we make it on? Let me get something <clears throat> here. Maybe I'll just make it on a strip of fabric. I've not really done that before. That would be kind of cool. So you, with a snippet strip, you, you, you start with a, you know, a, a strip of paper. Some people use um, masking tape or um, receipt rolls or just a piece of paper cut into strips. So I think I'll move these out of the way. And then we'll just put some scraps on here. And just start gluing stuff down. I got this. Okay, I kind of want the rough cut edges on the other side. Coming off. And you can make these as long as you want. This one looked to be, as we get closer to Christmas, I notice I'm using more Christmassy <laughs> colors. Move it out of the way. <laughs> okay. You guys can't see it, I know, but here. I'll just put it on there. I'm not gonna link hit the whole I'm not gonna go all the way down the whole thing, I'm gonna leave some of it. I'm done. I think what I'd like to do is make like a um I did watch Barbara and Louisa make theirs and they made theirs into a belly band. So I think I will do a similar thing. And then we'll figure out how to grunge it up here in a minute. I mean, the easiest way to grunge something up is, you know, spray it with some coffee or do some inks on it. Maybe since I got my um, spray inks out, I'll get back to that. <laughs> Put some of that on here. Okay, I don't want to cover up all the fabric because I think the fabric looks cool. And it's okay that it's gluing down to this um, cardboard thing because I do need it to have some sturdiness. Here's some fabric that was a hanky. Put a couple of those pieces, huh? Get it. Texture. and messy and it's fun to mix some um, fabric and papers together Let's move this up here a little bit and again this is something that if you wanted to you could take a sewing machine and do some zigzags or just kind of free style sewing on it 
let's put a little bit of this uh, Wells Fargo vintage stuff on it. This is like brown deli paper. And the other thing with the snippet roll is you can kind of put, um, you know, some focal points on it. So we'll definitely add some butterflies here in a minute. You could also grunge it up by just like stamping something on it. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see what I have in the stamp, stamp, stamps. Rubber stamps. Where are ya? What do I have? Yes. Whoopsie. <laughs> My sweater got on the camera. <sighs> got this big circle. Um, I'm gonna put some rusty hinge on it. it up. I mean, it looks, doesn't look grungy, grungy, but you know, kind of give it some more, some more texture. And the rust will come through it. Okay. And the stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's let that one dry. And then we'll come back. Um, all right, so we're on, that was the snippet strip, and we'll grunge that up some more. Um, 21, I lost 21 somewhere around here. <laughs> it's nice to have, um, you know, these kind of challenges, I think, at least I like having them because then it gives me a little break from the holiday stress and overwhelm, if you will. Oh, I'm just going to straighten out. Oh, there is 21 button and a tea bag. Okay, cool. Well, I have a tea bag over here because I was making tea. Put that right there. There's my tea bag. <laughs> All right, so what do we want to do with the tea bag? Well, we could just cut the tag off and then not really use the tea bag per se, but make like something that looks like a tea bag, right? I like that idea. And I think I would like to use some more of this fabric to do that. I'll just cut this out here. <laughs> bag shape. And I'm going to stuff it with a little something so it has some dimension. How about just a little bit of this red and white fabric. Of course, again, this would be cool to so all the other thing that would be cool to put in here is some like uh potpourri if you had it hmm. i don't think i really have anything like that but that would be cool <laughs> so something to think about all right i'm just gonna 
do it around. I'm gonna cut this down because it's a little too much. Okay. And then my hands are sticky. Some of it's coming out. <laughs> Get the canal. Okay. Let's trim it. Let's put some more glue there. When you have <laughs> glue on your fingers and glue on the fabric, it gets all kind of messy. Obviously it gets messy. All right, let's just use this thing again. And let's put a little bit more glue right here. And I'm going to staple this on here. And hopefully I can get it just right. Well, we can faux staple it on. Duh. <laughs> okay, and then we'll just, no, oh, I actually caught it. Yes! <laughs> and then we'll just actually add some glue so that the tag doesn't come off. Because I'm going to probably glue this down on the page. And there we go. We have our herbal tea steeped in four minutes. And then on the back side here, we'll put a butterfly. Yes. This one's stuck on the fabric. So there you go. And I like that the little 1706 is showing. And it says experience. There is our tea bag. Nifty. All right. Well, and then on the back of it or whatever, it also wanted a button, didn't it? Okay, let's get a button. A button. Where's all my buttons? I know I had some. But I think I took them in the other room. So note to self, we need to add a button to this one, okay? Mm-hmm. I will definitely do a flip through when I get all 25 things made. So we have one more thing to do, water and an envelope insert, which I have no idea what they mean by that. So let's keep what I think it means is that you have an envelope. Okay, let's get an envelope. And you would insert something inside the envelope. Just move that there, put that there, and then let's use this envelope and make an envelope insert. First, I want to put something here. I think, again, we're going to keep going with this fabric type theme and just cover up the sticky part of the envelope. Just decorate it. I had a piece of um, 
my cardstock here a little bit ago. Let me see if I got something in my um, my box of things, my box of inspiration for this month. <laughs> that could be a envelope insert. Just for some wrap and I'll use for an envelope insert. So I have this card and I'm gonna insert it in there. <laughs> I'm gonna insert it in the I'm just going to collage this side and I'm just gonna insert this in there as my envelope insert And we'll put, I got these little stickers. Kind of want to cover up the price tag there. No, I don't. Let's use this little tab. sticky but um, then put glue on it. I was going to put some in through there, <clears throat> but then I put that tab on. So let's just cover this with some other paper. tag or something on there on the side pull it in and out it's kind of fun so for now I'm just gonna put it like that 
Your length would like to put something else in there. Let's see. While I'm thinking about it. Ooh, I got something. I bought these vintage um, Cancer Society sticker stamp things. That would make a nice <coughs> envelope insert. So let's see if we can get that to work. Because I feel like I want something that fills up the envelope a little bit more. Except that's not right. Since it's not going to show all of them out. Okay. And then, <laughs> this will be fun to try to figure out, but I'm going to stick it down in there, and that's going to be the envelope liner. with the glue. I'm going to have a wipe it off. Sometimes you got to take your chances. <laughs> Probably should have done that differently, but I didn't, so here we go. Alright, when all else fails, take the envelope apart. <laughs> And good news, I know I'm making a wreck of this, but I have more materials, I have more resources, and I'm not going to fret it, because I'm going to make this one work, and it's going to be kind of grungy, because I am making it work. Envelope, didn't I? <laughs> it's supposed to go like that. And we will fix this little corner here in a second. <laughs> Never fear. Kel is here. <laughs> we can get up as she goes along. I'm loving it. So now we have an lined envelope and a decorated envelope. Okay. And we will let it dry. <laughs> We will put our little card in there so that it does not get stuck up. So 
that's it. We did several things. I'll come back with a flip through, like I said, after the holiday to show you how it turned out. With the journal and everything. I'm going to let all these things dry and do some finishing touches. And I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Have a great holiday. Bye!